Hey, what it is? This is Blue Frog. Uh, let's check out these knickknack nicotine lozenges. Oh, there's 15 in a container. These are the six milligram. They also had three milligram. So I believe that's your your two strengths uh, for the knickknack brand. Kind of a lame name, but I'm sure we can get beyond that. Uh, these uh, containers here, they're a little bit smaller than than like your Zen. Not a whole lot, but it is, it is a little bit smaller. And it's kind of a lot different than a than a Zen. I've only tried out this this blood orange. It is pretty tasty, bro. But we're gonna try out all of them. Um, you know, you put it in your upper lip or whatnot. It lasts about an hour before it's dissolved, and that's without uh, drinking a bunch of fluids and stuff like that. So. It, Naturally, it's probably going to dissolve in about an hour. Um, it's hard. It's like hard candies, dude. It's it's way different than than the pouches. You know, there's nothing to spit out. They're completely completely dissolve. It does give you a little bit of that burning flavor or sensation in the back of your throat when you're getting nicotine. But yeah, that's what it. It's what they look like. I would not chew these up. Just let them, just put them in your lip and let them dissolve naturally. It is actually nice. I thought they'd probably be lame, but it's a good uh, it's good to switch it up. You know, if you're using Zen or any of the other nicotine pouches, like I might put one of those in in the morning, but afterwards, like I'll I'll put one of these in later on just to kind of mix it up. But we got we got blood orange. Uh, we got peppermint, we got wintergreen, we got spearmint, and grapefruit. I don't know why they would choose grapefruit, but <clears throat> I figured, dude, might as well grab them all. <clears throat> Let's try out the grapefruit since it sounds so horrible. We better go to that one. First, like I said, I've already tried the blood orange, and it's pretty tasty. Pop it open, throw it in. Now down below, all these, probably can't really see it. There's a pad down here. I'd assume this is to uh, keep the moisture out. I don't know what happened if you did, because I mean, it's not like these things are gonna swell up or anything, but I guess just for good measure, they throw the, I don't know what you'd call it, the tampon in there. <laughs> I haven't tried putting that in my lip. Like, who knows? That might be the, the, the Cracker Jack prize, you know? And the flavor of the grapefruit isn't horrible. It doesn't really taste like grapefruit all that much. And one of the things I noticed on here was that it'll say like net weight, approximately 12 grams. So the grapefruit's 12, the blood orange is 12, and the wintergreen's 12. But the spearmint and the peppermint say they're 11.25. So I guess we'll see if they're any bit smaller. I mean, it'd be a very small fraction at that. To be smaller, it's probably not going to be no actually noticeable. But yeah, it's that's a new thing, you know. Another another way of checking them out, getting your getting your nicotine. Yeah, you can't even tell the difference. It smell. Grapefruit smells a little grapefruity. <clears throat> Nothing too amazing. The mint. Yeah, the mint smells good. Or that's the spearmint. Excuse me. 
The spearmint smells good. The blood orange. Doesn't have a whole lot of smell to it, but the taste of that, that is good. Let me spit out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be getting a buzz today. Now let's try the spearmint. Yeah, that's good. That spearmint is tasty. Um, yeah, going from mint to mint to mint. Then we got peppermint. It smells all right so far. The spearmint smelt the best. The spearmint definitely tastes better than the grapefruit. I guess we gotta should have grabbed them while it was open. Try out the peppermint. Mm. Yeah. Can't taste like peppermint. I think the spearmint is the best out of those three. Like I said, I like the the blood orange flavor. And the last but not least is the winter green. Let me know what you guys are using for for nicotine. Once again, I mean, you know, nicotine is not super good for you. I mean, there's some studies that say nicotine is actually good for you. It helps you, um, you know, focus, concentrate, but also gives you that addiction factor, bro. You don't want to mess around with that. Let's try this. Whoa, there's something. Something in there. Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't have a smell wintergreen. You'd think it would be all super wintergreeny flavored, but it's not. What is this thing? Is it a worm? Do I got worms in here? Oh, it's like a plastic. Hopefully we're not eating plastic, bro. All right, let's see what the flavor tastes like. Dude, that tastes like Tic Tacs. <laughs> Nick Knack tastes like a Tic Tac, bro. The wintergreen does. Tastes just like it. Just like a Tic Tac. But so there's your five, your five flavors. Um, like I was saying that those are the five flavors that they had at the, where I went. There could be more flavors than that. I haven't looked it up online. There's three and six milligrams. It is a nice change up from using the nicotine pouches. Uh, go ahead. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys are Chewing on if you've tried these knickknacks or if you've got a, a lozenge that I need to know about. I right, catch y'all later. Peace.